Now for IV push medication. So Kat here just started an IV on me, and now we're gonna be talking about the steps of what it takes to give an IV push medication. So some institutions, you'll have a little disinfection cap that sits here, and mm -hmm. he doesn't have that. So I'm actually gonna take out my little chlorhexidine wipe, and of course alcohol is fine. And I'm not trying to scrub this area around at all. I don't care, really. This part right here is a little plastic piece that actually holds lots of germs. So that's the part I'm really trying to get my thumbnail in there and scrub, mm -hmm. okay? Then I'm going to also clean around the edges. Now, I want to do a little bit of sailing first. So I'm gonna attach to the lure lock. I'm gonna unclamp my IV. If you have a fairly fresh IV, you should be able to get a little bit of blood return. So check that. Mm. And then give just a little bit of saline. Okay, that just makes sure that your IV is actually patent. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna use the rest of this in a minute. This is gonna be my IV push medication. Now, most medications have a certain amount of time that you should push them over. One milligram of morphine and 10 milligrams of morphine are both available in one milliliter of volume. Mm. It doesn't make good sense to push those at the exact same rate. You can get four milligrams of decadron in one milliliter. You can get 10 milligrams of decadron in one milliliter. If you push those at the same rate, your patient's gonna be very, very uncomfortable. Okay, so you need to know your drug and you need to know how fast you can actually push it. So now I'm gonna to attach to my lure lock again. And I'm gonna look at my watch. Now, I can keep going by my watch. The other thing that you can do, if, especially if you don't have a secondhand watch, is you can kind of count the seconds out loud in your mind. So if I know that I need to push this over about 30 seconds, then I'm gonna push maybe a quarter of this and count in my head, and then push a little more and count again in my head. So there's a couple of ways that you can make sure that you actually pace yourself and get it over that 30 seconds that you need. Um, one minute is the guideline for lots and lots of IV medications. Um, some are even as long as a couple of minutes. If your IV push time comes out to be more like five minutes, you really should consider putting that in a mini bag and hanging it as a secondary. So I'm just gonna push this nice and slow. But you do want to know if your patient has any burning, any swelling, and especially if they feel bad. If this is the first time that he's gotten morphine, I really need him to let me know if he's having any chest pain, dizziness, or any other side effects. Now, if you are pushing a medication and get busy talking to your patient, and you're holding it like this and forget, mm. If your thumb rests on the plunger, you're gonna look down and your whole medication is gonna be gone and you're gonna have no idea how long you pushed it over. So when you're not actively pushing, you need to take your thumb completely off of that plunger. So I'm gonna finish pushing my medication. Now, the saline needs to go at the exact same rate as the medication, mm -hmm. right? Because this is all still completely full of medicine. So I don't want the medicine that's still in this tube to get pushed too quickly. So I'm gonna push it at the same rate. Now this tubing holds about two milliliters, maybe. So I'm gonna push real slow for that amount. Now once that medication is through this tubing and through where I know the catheter ends, it's now in his bloodstream and the rate that I push this is a little less important. So the next thing that I wanna do is make sure that this vein stays patent after I'm done. Once I'm sure that the medication is actually through this tubing and in the vein, I'm gonna give this a slightly more aggressive push to make sure that there's no clots in here. Now, while I have my thumb on this plunger, I'm going to clamp this, and that maintains the pressure that I need to further help us not get clocked at the end of the catheter. Mm. And then again, if I have a disinfection cap, I would put that on here now. 
All right, that wraps it up for IB Push. Thanks so much, Kat. Thank you.